The other major story tonight, five Americans who were held hostage for years in Iran finally out of prison and one step closer to coming home. Andrea Mitchell has details on the deal the U.S. made with Iran. Tonight, five Americans are out of Tehran's notorious Evan prison and temporarily under house arrest in Iran. My belief is that uh, this is the beginning of the end of their nightmare and the nightmare that their families have experienced. Before they can come home, Iran will get $6 billion of its oil revenue for humanitarian needs. Eventually, the U.S. is also expected to release several Iranians from American jails. Held the longest, Siamak Namazi, a business consultant arrested in 2015. Murad Tabas, an environmentalist, was imprisoned in 2018 and his wife not permitted to leave Iran. Tell us um, about the experience of having your parents there and not knowing how to get them home. It's obviously been a nightmare that you couldn't imagine. Imad Shargi was also arrested in 2018. His I daughters told us last year the wait was agonizing, especially when a fire broke out in the prison. We thought he was dead. Um, we didn't get to speak to him for two days. Moving the $6 billion for Iran's use could take weeks. Washington Post journalist Jason Rezaian, jailed in Tehran for almost two years, knows what they're feeling. That kind of first taste of freedom, your shoulders start to loosen up just a little bit, but they don't fully uh, relax until you're out of Iranian airspace. A source familiar says separate talks could lead to an informal deal to freeze Iran's nuclear program, which U.S. officials say is only weeks away from having enough fuel for a weapon. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.